Hi, Dylan here, Practy Bach. How is everybody? 11th of October, uh, just had a package from Maltzmiller. Um, was yeast in it, open immediate, so it's in the fridge. It's for my next brew, so that'll come up on the next vlog. Some special offers. Barkeeper's friend. I think it was down to 249, I think, for the 500 mil, is it? I think. Yeah, 500 mil. And eight. Rickshaw got me into the mood. There, Rick. Riwaka. So I'll be doing a brew with that. I'll be reporting back to him. Got some extra silicon. Hose for the brew tools, some maltodextrin, <coughs> and some greens. Again, they will go into the next vlog. So I'll pop them back. Got another couple of pieces there. Put them back in. Put that in the freezer later on so we'll keep them out of the way. Right, do you remember this guys? I swapped the configuration. Um, I'm sure that's going to work out very well. But I was a bit concerned about how much this is coming out. It's taking a bit of room, isn't it, you know? Um, it's been forced that way at the moment, so when I pull it out, you see it's, it, it takes a bit of space and what have you. So what I've decided to do to purchase a couple of items let me just put you down there with me spin you around right what have we got in the bag degree bend see if that works we'll try and pop it on we've also got a TC34 clamp so I can attach it let me just get this on get the hose sorted and see how things work out all right welcome back I think it's fitted okay what do you reckon straight through that can be tidied up like that I usually have the um, ferments as you see in the videos that I do usually the vent has the ferment has to be about here with the length of that hose so I cut that down and that's it I think um, all I need next Christmas will be coming up soon I might get um, one of these uh, aerators it's like um uh, stainless steel is like a corkscrew um on the end and then when the words comes through um it's aerated that way where it, it just like sprinkles the um words around rather than it just pouring in um makes makes it splash basically doesn't it so um that's available I'm not to show how much they're about 30 odd quid um, but it saved me having to mess about just stirring that. It's a lot more compact. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be out here. Um, whether or not I've got an extra space there, I don't know. Um, I could, I suppose, pull that out. I could pull that out so it goes more in. I'll tell you what, I might even do that. We'll give it a go, see if I can get something. Well, that it might pop out that way. Anyway, we'll, we'll give it a go. Two ticks. Right, a bit more fiddly than um, I anticipated, but I got there in the end. Um, and, it, and it looks all right, and it's going to work, I reckon. So, yeah, let's spin you around. Let's have a look at that. So I've got all this area. It's a bit extra now. Everything's held within... So basically I've just gone, taken the hose that empties the wort into the 
fermenting vessel around that dead space because I had nothing going there. So that's worked out very well. Um, I have added an additional um, angle here, or not additional, I pulled it from here so this comes um, back on itself and put another one here to get a better uniform because that was um, bending quite a bit actually so it's, it's not too bad like that. So yeah, so recirculation round into the counterflow chiller, back in and close that off and comes back on itself. Excuse me, <coughs> a bit of a sore throat again. So yeah, looks a bit more compact, what you reckon? I'm happy with it. I can deal with that. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's it. Just another short one again today, guys. Thanks for watching. Press subscribe button. Hit the like button. So uh, I'll see you soon. Yeah, Take care.